Recently, Warhammer Fest 2023 was being held with all of its sneak peeks and information, and they decided to drop a little bit of information about Warhammer The Old World. So I guess it's time to really sit down and think about, am I going to be playing Warhammer The Old World? Hmm. We'll see. So, when Games Workshop shut down Warhammer Fantasy Battles 8th Edition, the community was a little unhappy. After that, the community fractured into multiple different games trying to replace the fantasy rank and flank strategy tabletop game. They replaced the game with other games like Kings of War, The Ninth Age, Warhammer Army Projects, and even Age of Sigmar. Now GW is going back to the rank and flank game with the old world, and the question is, how many of those old 8th edition Warhammer Fantasy Battle players are going back to the old world? So to get out of the way, just some information you all didn't know that I got from both the live stream and then the Q&A, which was not live streamed, but uh, all the information's online. This is going to come at you rapid fire. There's currently no release date for Warhammer the Old World yet. The core rule set will be free online as a PDF but army books will still be a thing like they were in 8th edition. All of the original armies and all the models in those armies will have rules attached to them at release. There will be no Age of Sigmar compatibility, meaning all the new armies in Age of Sigmar will not have rules in Warhammer of the Old World. The Monstrous Arcanium, the rules about giant monsters will not be included. Mordheim currently has no plans to be remade. Also, Dogs of War are not currently being worked on. So the first of two really interesting pieces of information is they have confirmed that base sizes in general are changing and in general going to a larger size. There will still be square bases, but there'll be larger square bases. Before the release of Warhammer the Old World, they will release a document about a conversion system. Every old model will have an equivalent in what size you need to change their base to for Warhammer the Old World. The second piece of information that is interesting is they have been hinting at what the rule set will look like. This is going to be a game not for beginners. Hinting at that it'll be a, a complicated, thick, BRB, big red book game. So, my overall thoughts. First off, of course I'm going to be playing Warhammer the Old World. I'm definitely going to try it out. I've been playing a lot of the Ninth Age. I love the Ninth Age very much, but I need to check out the Old World. Whether I continue with either the Ninth Age or the Old World after I check it out, who knows? That depends on a lot of variables. It depends how successful the Old World is and how popular the Old World is. So, first thoughts. I do think by the end of the year we'll have the first edition of the Old World. At the very least, the beginning of next year. Thought two. The idea that they are basically keeping the old rule set or keeping it very close to what the old rule set was is both a good and a very bad thing in my eyes. They're not simplifying the game like they did with Age of Sigmar. I think that's awesome. That's why I play this game. The scary thing is the rule set in Warhammer Fantasy Battles 8th Edition was not perfect. In my eyes, it had a lot of shortfalls, a lot of problems, a lot of problem with balancing. I'm scared this is gonna become a popular enough game and we're stuck with a bad rule system. The Ninth Age has a lot of problems with it, but I really truly think the core game system is way better than 8th edition Warhammer. And my final thought is how is GW going to treat this game? We all know about the infamous GW power creep the newest models are the most powerful in the rules, the most bought, the most sold, the most used, until the next model comes out. But if we're as a community heading back to a GW supported game with GW power creep, it makes me real sad inside. So to wrap up, I'm gonna try the old world and at least give it a good try. Then I'll be able to really decide and the community will be able to decide if we're gonna move forward with the old world or one of its alternatives. Nonetheless, subscribe to see that old world content at release. 
And also, if you want something to hold you over until release, check out the Ninth Age content. Thanks, guys. We'll see what the future holds.